Okay. All right, Rabbi Say, we welcome everybody. Shira is always is sponsored by A.B. Spry and his family for uh, for uh, the safety of our troops and of Klal Yisrael and by Shimon Klein, Lili Nishma Sasha Anshim and Yehuda Git by Shimon Pinchas, Irving Fishbaum for Issa Ben Rezel and Eliezer Ben Rezel for Meir Ben Chaya Sara. We uh, uh, welcome in uh, Irving Fishbaum, Eddie Chazan, Aaron Swade, Nachman Chapler, Mel Zachter, Yitzhi Fuchs, Marshall Castle, Ben Cien Kohn, Menachem uh, Imansky, uh, Stephen Holtzman, Shelley Zeitlin, Dr. Guy, A.B. Spry, Jay Siegel, Ruven Pollock, Yitzhi Muller, uh, Shua Shmuel Eisenberg, uh, Philippe Block, Ilya Schutman, I'm not sure who Nen J is, Pesach Siegelman, what happened to uh, uh, Fogel? He's, he left. Um, uh, uh, Gershon Brody is joining us here in Shul. We have um, uh, we have uh, Barish Gesemin, uh, Gedalia, Reb Avram. Uh, we have uh, Reb Kramer, uh, Rich Lenner back in his post. Uh, Michal Avram, Ruvain Shannet, and uh, Saba. I want to start off the shir tonight with a very warm Mazel Tov to Chavra Adaf Ruvain Shannet on the birth of an Einikel. And you should dance by his chasen. Um, we, uh, that's a nice way in Odor. It's a nice way to celebrate Odor. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we are start with the Mishnah on the bottom of Daf Kuf Ches Amit Beis. Mishnah on the bottom of Daf Kuf Ches Amit Beis. Where uh, we ask Marshall, Marshall, Heichon Pigdaini, where's my deposit? Amalai, so Marshall says, of it, I lost it. Mashbiachani, okay, I put put you to an oath that you lost it. For Amar Amen, but the Edom Edom I say she achlei. The witnesses come and say he didn't lose it. He had my sheep for dinner. So there, since he swore. Uh, uh, there, uh, he swore, he didn't confess. Just witnesses say that, that he stole it instead of it being lost, Mishalem Karen. He doesn't pay careful because he didn't steal it. He just claimed it was lost. So he pays the principal. If he confesses, oh, since he swore, when he confesses, Mishalem Karen, then he has to pay the principal a fifth and bring a guilt offering. I ask Marshall, Marshall dear, where's my uh, sheep? Amalai Nignav. He says it's stolen. Oh, now he says Toyin is Ganav. He says it's stolen. Mashpiachani. I put you to an oath. Amar Amen. And then they say he stole it. Oh, so since that's a case of Toyin Tanis Ganav, now he's going to pay Kefal. Mashalim Tashlim Kefal. Again, if he confesses, he pays the principal a fifth and a guilt offering. Now, the plot thickens. In the event that Yitzchak steals from Avram. So he steals from his father. So his father asks him, where is it? Yitzchak swears to his father, that he didn't steal it. Omeis, the father dies. Uh, now the father dies. Now Yitzchak is standing in line to inherit his father. Right? The father dies and he confesses. Hmm. He confesses. So now he is one of the ears of his father. So the Gemara says he can't take it himself because he has a, a, a mitzvah of hashava, of returning it. So Harizem is shalim keren v'chaymeish v'ashem. Since he swore falsely and he confesses, he pays the principal the fifth and, and he brings a guilt offering. Lebonov, to his father's other children. Or if his father doesn't have any child, other children, so the next ears in line is his father's brothers. Now, let's say 
Yitzchak doesn't want to give up his portion. And let's say there's, there's another brother. So half of it would be his. Or, I mean, he has another brother. That means there's another son. So half of the theft he would inherit. And he doesn't want to give up that half. Or he can't afford it. The Emenu writes, Aisha ain't like, he doesn't have. So what Yitzchak could do is the following um, legal fiction. What he could do is loive. Yitzchak will take a loan. He'll take a loan from Rich to pay his brother. Right to pay what what uh, what uh, what he stole, right? Because he has to make hashava on what he stole from his father. So let's say, for example, he stole from his father ten thousand dollars. Now, half of that ten thousand he inherits. So he he, he gives his brother five thousand. And he takes a loan from Rich of 5000 and gives his brother the 5000 to complete the 10000 that he stole from his father. Let's see it inside. Loive, he takes a loan. Now Rich comes back to collect from uh, Yitzchak, you took a loan from me of five thousand dollars. I want the money. Yitzchak says he doesn't have it. He c- then Rich could go to the other brother, who is Asaph. Right? I, 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 I mean, it was Yishmael? Ram had Yitzchak Yishmael. So he goes to the other brother Yishmael and he says, "Look, you have five thousand dollars of Yitzchak. I'm going to take that because he doesn't have any money." And in that way, Yitzchak did the hashava. He did the return because he gave a full 10,000 to his brother. And then, uh, as we welcome in uh, Richard Rosenzweig and Sandy Grunfeld, so again, let's look at it in the mission. Of Yemena writes, if he doesn't want to give up that 5,000, or he, shayla, he doesn't have it, loiva, he takes a loan from Rich, of 5,000, he gives it to, to his brother, and then Rich could take it away from Yishmael. He says, look, I have a, I have, I have a, a claim on Yitzhak for 5,000, and I know that 5,000 of that money really belongs to your brother, right? And he could take it, and that way he does the restoration, and he, uh, it doesn't cost him that five thousand dollars. The Gemara gives another example of this. If let's say Avram says to his son, uh, we're just learning in the Dharm now in the Mishniyimus. So he says that with the iser of a carbon, kainim is a kinoi, a substitute for carbon. So kainim, uh, it should be also with a vow. That you can't benefit from my my money. That's what he tells his son. In Mace, when Avram dies, Yoshenu, the son could still inherit him because once his father dies, it's not his money anymore. So he could inherit his father. The Isanet goes off. Because he just said, you can't benefit from what's mine. But once the father dies, it's not his anymore, so the son can inherit it. However, if the father says, if he says, you can't benefit, there's an isaneder during my lifetime and after death, then if the father dies, then, then Yitzhak can't inherit him. And therefore, who does it go to? The Yavza Labanov, it goes to the other sons, uh, like Esa, uh, like Yitzchak, or, or if there's no other sons, it goes to the father's brothers. But if the Yitzchak has nothing to eat, he desperately needs this money. 
So Loive, he could take a loan. Let's say the inheritance was $25,000. He could take a loan of $25,000 and then and the creditor, when he doesn't have what to pay, he could take from this property that's in the estate of the father. Now, even though when he does that, the son is benefiting, but that's called indirect benefit, and therefore the son is allowed to do that. Now, um, Amr Rav Yosef, when we say that the uh, when a person steals and swears and confesses, he has to make a hashava, he has to make a return. That means That means if the father died and he can't find any relatives. Now there's always relatives. But he can't find, even with playing Jewish geography, he can't play. You know, they weren't so sophisticated in the olden days. Well, you know, you could go to a company that on a computer could figure it out, right? He, 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 if, if he can't find a relative, so then he has to give it to the charity collector. He has to give it to the, uh, the Gabbai Tzedakah. Amra Papa, Vishsarach Shiyaymer, and when he gives it to the Gabbai Tzedakah, he has to say, Zeh Gezel Avi. This is what I stole from my father, and I'm making restitution. So now the Gemara asks an interesting question. We have already learned in a Mishnah earlier that if Marshall steals from uh, Shelley, Marshall steals from Shelley, Shelley could forgive him. He could be Michael him, because the Mishnah says, what if he's Michael? the Karen, and he's not Michael the fifth, so he said for the fifth, he doesn't have to go and chase Shelley all the way to Madai. So you see that Shelley could forgive it. So the question is, uh, in the case where the father died, and he inherits it, so why can't he forgive himself? He said, he inherits it. If Shelley could forgive, let him forgive himself. Am I nimchalei l'nafsheh? Milay Tanan, didn't we have the Mishnah, Machalai ala Karen, if Shelley forgives the principal, Vilay Machalai ala Chaimish, and he doesn't forgive the fifth, so Marshall doesn't have to go to Madai. So you see that the, 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 the victim could forgive. In this case, uh, uh, Yitzchak is inheriting the money that he stole from his father. Why can't he forgive himself? Alma bar Mechilahu. Says, you know what, you're right, this is actually a machlokis. One is going according to Rabbi Yaisi Aglili, and one is going according to Rabbi Kiva. The Tanya, for we learned in the Braise, Vim Ein Ish Goyal. Now, this is the famous case of a ger, a convert. A convert, ger shin is gaya kikot and shinoila dummy. A convert that converts is like a newborn babe. He doesn't have any relatives. So the Torah addresses what happens if you steal from a ger and the ger dies. So who do you give it to? Who do you give it to? So the Torah says you give it to the kayin. So let's see. It says the Gemara, the Tanya, if there is no kin. Lahashiv ha'ashan, in order to return that which you stole, in order to return the guilt. So right away the Gemara says, "What are you talking about?" Is there anybody that doesn't have a relative? Uh, find who is he related. But he's he's all the way back to Yaakov Avinu. So find out who his who his relative is. Could be a ninth cousin once removed. It's talking about if you stole from a convert. 
So let's say that Tony became Matis Yo, and Marshall has no scruples. He, he's an equal opportunity thief, right? So Marshall steals from uh, newly minted Matis Yo, Vinish Beloit, and he swore to him that he didn't steal. Vishama Shemesage. And Marshall heard that Matisio died. So now he was taking the guilt that he confessed about, he was taking it to Yerushalayim to give it to the Kayim. He was taking the money and a guilt offering to give it to, it, to the Kayim in Yerushalayim. But what do you know? He meets Matisio. He's not dead after all. He meets him. Turns out that Matisio was in the hospital. He got better. So he met Matisio. And Matisio's a nice guy. He told him, look, you know, Marshall, you're here with your wife. You probably want to eat out in Cafe Ramon. And you want to probably go to the plaza. You know what? Draw up a loan that you owe me the money. You know, you stole from me $10,000. Draw up a loan. Give me an IOU note. Vizokfa love Bemilva, and he drew up a loan that he owes ten thousand dollars to. Uh, instead of paying him, he, he gave him an IOU note. Omeis, and then conveniently for Marshall, Matisio died. Zocha love Marshall gets it because there are no relatives. A uh, is guy, he never got married, so he doesn't have any relatives. So Marshall gets it. Divrei Rabbi Yisak Lili. Rabbi Kiva says, no way, Jose. Until Marshall fulfills returning that which he swore falsely and confessed, he doesn't fulfill the requirement. Rabbi Kiva, I mean, like Takana, actually, Yodzi, He has to part with the theft and give it to the Kaye. Now, the Gemara wants to say, therefore, the Rabbi Yaisi Aglili, according to Rabbi Yaisi Aglili, Loishna Lenafshe, Loishna Lacherim, Motzi Machel. According to Rabbi Yaisi Aglili, it makes no difference where you yourself inherited it, where he stole it from his father, and he himself inherited it, or if, if, some gazun Shelley wants to forgive Marshall Mati Machel. And in this case, when uh, the the when when Matisio converted it into a loan, he was being Michael the theft. And therefore he gets it. Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva says no. Loishna Lachir makes no difference if you want to forgive others, like the case where Shelley wants to forgive Marshall. You want to forgive yourself. Says the Gemara. The Rabbi Yaisi. Rabbi Yaisi holds. The truth of the matter is, is he could have forgiven it, even if he didn't convert it, convert it into a loan. He could have forgiven it even if he didn't convert it in a loan. Um, one second. See, this is a Chiddush. This is a Chiddush that according to Rabbi Yaisi Aglili, even if uh, the Ger did not convert it into a loan and died, Marsha will still have to give it to the Kain. Now we're going to have a Gemara shortly where the Gemara is going to ask, then what's the case in the Pazik where Marshall has to give it to the Kain? If we're saying that even if the Ger didn't convert it into a loan and just died. Marshall could keep it. 
So when then what's the case where he has to give it to the to the kain? So we'll have to we'll have to see that. Even if he didn't convert it in a loan. Aye. So why does it say the case where he converted it in a loan and then died? To tell you a Kiddush in Rabbi Akiva. That Rabbi Akiva holds that even if he converts it into a loan and then dies, still Marshall has to give it to the kind to fulfill his Chiv of being restoring the theft. However, this is not this is not the end of the story. So Rav Sheshis asks, Why does the Mishnah say earlier? If Shelley forgives Marshall for the principal and he doesn't forgive the fifth. So the Mishnah teaches a case of forgiving someone else. The Mishnah sort of said a bigger Chiddush that if Yitzchak stole from his father and his father dies, he could even forgive himself. You should teach that he could forgive himself and the Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva should teach that you can't even forgive others and then you're surely not allowed to forgive yourself both are going according to Rabbi Yisrael where could you forgive? Shelley could forgive Marshall. Lachayrim. Avol anafshay, but enoch anami, in the event that Avram dies, and Yitzhak inherits it, lanafshay loy matzib machel. Ella says the Gemara, amai zoch ala b'mashe b'yadi. Why in the case of the ger do we say that when Matisio converted it into a loan, and he dies, Marshall could keep it. That's only Mishim de Zakvan Olav Bemilva. That's only because he converted it into a loan. Because it, when he converts it into a loan, the lumdus is, he's saying, you know what? It, consider it as if I accepted back the money of the theft, and now I'm converting it into a loan. I'm giving it as a loan. So you could go to Cafe Ramon with your wife, and you could go to the plaza. Rava Amar Rava wants to deal with this differently. Rava Amar Hava Rabbi Akiva. Both are going according to Rabbi Akiva. Ki Amar Rabbi Akiva Doloi Matzi Machel. When can't you be Michael? Lenafshe. That means that if Avram dies and Yitzhak inherits it, he can't forgive himself. Avalach Heirim. But if Shelley wants to be Michael Marshall, Michael, he could be Michael. Michal, that implies Rabbi Yosia Glili Savar, Afilu Nafshi, Afilu Nami Matzi Michael. As we said, the din is that even if uh, Yitzhak steals from his father and his father dies, then he inherits it, he could be Michael himself. If that's the case, then what's the situation, if you could even be Michael yourself, what's the situation where you steal and you have to give it to the kain? If when you steal from a ger and the ger dies, you could be Michael yourself, then why do you have to give it to the kain? And that's what the Gemara asks now. That you have to give it to the kain. What's the case? So now the Gemara takes out the Talmudic scalpel and slices and dices. It's the only scalpel we should have to know of. Here we're talking about where Marshall stole from Matisio the Nishbalai Marshall swore to Matisio that he didn't steal it. Omei Sager, and the Ger died. And then, V'hoi Amisa. 
And then Marshall confessed after the Gair died. You see, when Marshall confesses after the Gair died, see, if Marshall confessed, if, if Marshall stole it from the Gair and swore and then confessed, the Gair inherited it. The Gair had the right to it. Then when the Gair dies, so Marshall could inherit it from the Gair, and he could be Michael himself. But where he steals from the Ger, swears, the Ger dies, and then he confesses, the Ger didn't get a chance to get it, because the Ger's already dead. Then who gets it? Hashem. And Hashem gives it to the Kayin. That's what the Gemara says. Marshall stole from Matis Yo, he swore to him, Umeis, Matis Yo died, Umeis Hager, and then and then Marshall confessed after his death. Now there's no ears, and therefore when he confesses, who's Zeichen it? Hashem is Zeichen it. Therefore Hashem awards it to the Kain. The Be'idna the Oide, Kano Hashem, Hashem acquires it, Menosna the Kahanim, and gave it to the Kahanim. So Nanakmar asks a very interesting question. You know, we have a Kalal. Kala Torah, Veloshin Zohar Nemr. The whole Torah is said in a male language, in a masculine language. The Gemara wonders what happens if Marshall steals from a Giyaris. I say, said, Marshall has no scruples. I, I know, I know Marshall. So, he has no scruples. So Mary became Miriam, and Marshall stole from Miriam. And Miriam dies, and then Marshall confesses. Does he have to give it to the kite? So I would say, what's the difference? Ger, Giyaris, what's the difference? Look at the Gemara. Boy, Ravina, Gazala, Giyaris, Mahu. What if he steals from a female convert? Isha, Marachman. The Torah says, Ish. Vula Isha. And not a woman. It doesn't say that by a woman you have to give it to the Kai. Ay, Dilma, Urcha, Dekrahu. Normally the Torah is Belash and Zacher. That's why it says an Ish, but it implies to a woman too. Amalei Rav Aaron Ravina, again, this is not very often that you see a Rav Aaron, right? a biblical name, Rav Aaron, an Amoira with the name of Aaron. Amalei Rav Aaron Ravina, Tajma, Titania Ish, Ainli Ela Ish, I only know if it's a man convert, Ish Aminayim, Kishuayim Hamushiv, that's returned, Harikan Shnayim. Im came Matam Udlaim Ish. Ah, here's the story. It's only if the girl that you stole it from was an adult. But if the girl that you stole it from was a minor, then you don't have to look for a next kin. If the girl is an adult, you have to look for a next kin because maybe the girl had children. But if the Gare is a minor, you don't have to look for a next kin because a minor can't have children. An adult, you have to look to see if there's relatives. Why? Because a child can't have kids. We know that he doesn't have any kinsmen. So how do we how do we interpret this pasuk la Hashem lekayin? Kanu Hashem, Hashem is the one that inherits it. V'nasno lekayin sheba oisa mishma, and he grants it to the kayin of that mishma. Now we know that operating in the base of Migdash there were twenty four mishmaros, twenty four divisions, and they operated in a rotation. And the mishma of that week that's working in the base of Migdash, they get this Gezel Hager, they get it. Now you'll say, maybe Marshall could give it to any Kayin. He has Marshall amongst his cronies. He has a Kayin. I can't tell you who it is. It's Lashon Hara. 
But Marshall has Marshall has a crony who's a kayak. Right. Says I'm very makpid when it comes to you, Marshall, with Lashonara. Very makpid. Very very I Yeah, no, no, I would you know, mum's the word, Marshall. Um nobody's gonna listen to this year and think of you any less. Now, uh the uh I'm gonna steal a shear. Now, um, don't worry. This shear is only in front of a million Heimisha. Don't worry. Uh, the uh, what about the Heimisha? They listen to Kololoshin. Now, uh, the uh, uh, he asked the question. Um, so anyway. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, if people would only use the internet for this but this is why it's not simple to say just no internet it's not a simple thing but there are people that say that you know when when, when I gave my share in visions one of the reasons why Vishnitz didn't want my share is because we're talking now in the 80s. That's when I started giving my Daf I mean, This is before Artsgrove. Yeah. Sansino times. In the 80s. And uh, I had a camcorder recording the share because my father was dying. And I, I brought him the CD, the DVD, every night to watch. He watched it from his sick bed. And Vishnitz didn't want the video. They 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 didn't want video. And uh, look <laughs> people are saved because they don't have it. People are saved. It's, it's, it, this is this is it's not an easy equation. It's not, it's not an easy equation, you know. What do you stop? Also, if you... Here's the problem. If you say loy mit an aleph, then as soon as the children get out of your control, sometimes they run all the way to the other, other extreme. So it's a very... It's a, it's, it's a big kind of question. It's a big... It's a big kind of question. They have this also, the Beis Yaakovs here have a very big question. You know, now they have for girls um, music venues. They have for girls uh, women singers and, and they even have, you know, they make kosher movies. With, with from a, you know, and some of the schools are banning it. They're banning the music, they're banning. And the question is, if they don't have that outlet, are they going to go to Taylor Swift? You know, that's, that's, that's the question. And it's a very, it's, this is a very, very hard it's, you know, some families, we don't want this. We don't want the role models of our girls to be these new generation of female Jewish singers. We don't want that to be their role models. We don't want that to be what they aspire for. Right? On the other hand, you have girls that are very, uh, very musical, and if you don't give them a kosher outlet, then they're going to go into other outlets. So this is, it's, it's very difficult. It's a, there, there, isn't, there isn't an e easy answer. There is an easy answer. And there, either way you go, there are karbanas. Either way you go. You, you give them, and there are karbanas. You don't give them, there are karbanas. It's, it's, very, it's, it's, very, it's a very hard subject. Anyway, why am I so chatty tonight? Huh? 
What does that have to what you put in the water? Dahlia? It did taste a little different, Gedalia. Rabbi, it's because it's an important subject, that's why. Well, it is an important subject, there's no question. Um, it is an important subject, and uh, people get hurt with this. People get, both ways they get hurt. So anyway, um, So again, Tan Rabbana, La Shem It says in the Pasik that the theft of the Ger is inherited by Hashem and it's given to the Kayin. Now remember, Marshall is the troublemaker. He's the one that stole from the poor Ger. Knal Hashem, Hashem acquires it. And he gives it that kayin of this 24 mishmaras, that division that's operating that week. Maybe we give it to any kayin that Marshall desires. After all, he's paying the money. Says Gemara, no, here we have a simple raya. That Marshall gives it to the Kayin besides the Ram of Atonement that he brings as a guilt offering. Now, the Ram of Atonement that he brings as a guilt offering is given to the Kayin of that Mishmar. And the Kayin of that Mishmar keeps the portion, uh, Anashim is a, a Kaidish Kadashim, so he keeps the portion of the guilt offering and he, uh, a, and he also gets the hides. So the money also goes to the Kayan of that Mishma. So the Gemara says, let's look further. If let's say, uh, let's say, uh, Marshall was a Kayan. Not the two. The plot worsens. Marshall, who stole from the poor, helpless, vulnerable convert, Marshall is a kayak. And he's in that Mishmar. So now he wants to keep it himself. He says, Look, I stole. There's nobody, no Gael, no kinsman. It goes to the kayak in the, in, in the Mishmar. I'm in that Mishmar. So I want to keep it myself. How do we know that Marshall can't say, since he goes to the Kahanim, and I have it. I'm in the Mishmar. Why shouldn't I keep it? If he would get, since he's in that Mishmar, Somebody else's stuff, if he was in that Mishmar and uh, a, 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 ger, a, a Ger died, he would get the theft. He should surely get his own, where he was the thief. Reb Nassim poses the argument in a different way. Here's an interesting thing. We don't have any kain on here, right? It's amazing. We have on the whole Zoom, we don't have one kain. Right? So, but let's say, let's say. Rabbi, I'm a kain. Oh, you're a kain? Oh, yes, I am. Well, well, very good. So, Yitz is our res resident kain. So, let's say. I'm also a kain. Are you also kind? Well, 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 we're rich. We're rich. We're rich. And he's a fake. So we have we have real ones and fakes. So okay. So so let let's see. Let's say let's say Yitz is not in the Mishmar. He's it's not his Mishmar. His Mishmar is in Nisan. It's not his division. If Yitz wants to bring his own carbon for something, let's say he wants to dedicate a shlamim, a peace offering, Yitz could do it 
even though it's not his mishmar, he could keep the meat and he could keep the hides. That's the halacha. Yet if he gives it to somebody else, it's, you know, he doesn't want to come in when it's not, uh, not his uh, division. He gives it to someone else, then the other person gets it. So let's see this inside. Rab Nasan Abu Balash Nacha. Umad Dover She'ain Loi Chelik Bai Achi Yukonis Birushu Zai. Madach in a case where it's Yitz's carbon. So even though it's Ben Sian's division, he doesn't have any right in it because Yitz could do his own carbon and keep his own carbon. But but if Yitz tells Ben Sian to do it, he can't take it away from him. Then in our case, we're we're uh, we're the robbed. What 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 Marshall robbed from the from the Gaya, right? Uh, another Kayin has no right in it. It it, it goes only it, 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 even if Marshall designates it to a specific Kayin, it can't go to that specific Kayin. It it, 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 it it belongs to every kind of the division. But when 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 it comes into his Rishus, and that means where Marshall was the one that stole it, and then when the Ger died, it's in his Rishus. Ainoi din, surely it should be the Ain Acha Yachaloitzimiyada, that nobody else could take it from him. So the Gemara says, no, that's no comparison at all. Loi. Ima marta bedavish ain loi chelik bai. If when it's Yitz's carbon, where nobody else has a chelik in it, kishem she ain loi chelik bai, just like uh, one person doesn't have a chelik in it, that means where it's Yitz's carbon, where uh, Ben Sian doesn't have a right in it. Nobody else in the division has a right in it. It's only Yitz's. Timer Begazel. Masha Eng came the case of where Marshall stole, and Marshall wants to keep his portion. Uh, you could say that since Marshall is part of the division, he could claim a part of it, but everybody else also has a part of it. Everybody has a portion of it. And the, the, uh, therefore, what Marshall stole is taken out of his hand and is divided by all the Kahanim. Says to but wait. Marshall has to bring an Oshim. Marshall is definitely going to be able to keep the, if he's a Kayan, he's going to be able to keep the Oshim. Because it says, ish es of lo yiyu. The kachim that he brings belongs to him. And if he keeps the ashim, shouldn't he also keep the, the, the gazel as a koyin in that mishmar? Says the Gemara, no, it's talking about a case where Marshall doesn't bring the ashim because he's tamay. Hachabamai askinam bekoyin tamay. So the Gemara says, but Ibekai and Tame, what do you mean, Dover Shiyesh Lei Bai? What does it mean that he has a portion in it? If he's a Kai and Tame, he doesn't have a portion in it. Me, like, does he have a portion? Says the Gemara, rather, is no Shaila. We learn it out from Xayrish Shava, Kai and Kai to stay Achuza.
<laughs> bringing in another issue over here. The din is that if a person has a steyachuza, an ancestral field, now if Michal Avram sells his ancestral field, let's say he sells it to Rip Kramer, at Yoival, it goes back to Michal Avram. That's the din of an ancestral field. But let's say instead of selling it, Let's say Michal Avram dedicates it. Gives it to Hektish. Now the Gizber sells it to Beresh. At Yoival it goes to the Kehanim. And the Kehanim of that Mishma. So now comes the Shaila. What happens if Michal Avram dedicates his ancestral field and Yitz buys it. At Yoival, Yitz says, don't divide it to all the Kahanim. Let me keep it. I dedicated it. Let me keep it. Says the Gemara, let's see what it says. From an ancestral field. Yitz gets to keep his inheritance. How do we know if a field that was dedicated by Michal Avram and then was bought from the Gizbar by a Kayin? And it was redeemed and bought by one of the Kahanim. How do we know that that Kayan shouldn't say? Since it goes at Yoival to the Kahanim. And it's by me, Teishali. After all, I get other people's ancestral fields. Bishel asks me one that I bought like Kal like a field that's dedicated, remember I told you, it goes to the Kayin, like a field that was dedicated to Kahanim as as Kahanim, it belongs to the Kayin, his inheritance, but this is not his, Rather, it's divided by all the kahanim. Even though he redeemed it, it leaves his hand. And it's divided by all his brothers, the kahanim, that are in, in the Mishmar at Yoiv. And we learn out, it says over here, Kayin, and it says by uh, the case of uh, Gezel Ager Kayin. So by Gezel Ager Kayin also, if Yitz Fuchs would steal the, uh, uh, he would steal from Ager, from Matis Yo, and uh, Matis Yo dies, and he's in the Mishbar, he doesn't get it, but it's divided by all the brothers, the Kehanim. Again, again, not easy, Gemara. Not easy. These, these, I will tell you that it's known that the end of Bava Kama is from the harder parts of Shas. I told you, Ramayisha said the Toysvis of the 10th parak of Bava Kama is the hardest Toysvis in Shas.